Hey guys, I'm Shaniqua and this is Imperfectly Neek. First of all, let me go ahead and dress this right here, right now. I spilled water on my shirt. Don't roast me in the comments, y'all. I was drinking water, trying to hydrate, trying to hydrate. Anyway, so today, today, today is going to be my surgery. And if you don't know what I mean when I say my surgery, I am talking about my elite body sculpture, air sculpting. I did a video on this back in November where I went to my free consultation and was considering this and I have now decided to go ahead and do it. So today is the day that I get the surgery done. So my plan is to take you guys along with me throughout this whole entire process and the recovery through everything that I'm doing today, through things that happen while I'm there up to what I can record and my recovery process afterwards. I plan to do something like the day after, the week after, the month after, etc., and just keep you guys updated on my progress. Also, I wanna let you guys know that I started a Facebook group all about elite body sculpture and the air sculpting journey. I did this because every other thing has a Facebook group and when I looked for this for my own research purposes, it did not exist. So in true me fashion, I created it. So I'm gonna include that down below, down below. So please, if you're interested in air sculpting or learning more about the elite's body sculpture altogether and wanna talk to a bunch of people about their experiences, their questions and things that they're doing, it is a great place for you to go. So please take a second to go down there and join my group. Also, I will include a link up above for my free consult video so you can go ahead and take a look at that video, get an idea of what my experience was then so you can start this journey all along with me fresh. So right now, I'm just in the house getting things together so that I can prepare for my surgery because I'm not sure what my mobility will be like afterwards. So I'm cleaning up, washing my hair, doing all the things that I need to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and get ready to set up my bed so that when I come home, it is all prepared for when I return and I'm able to get in it without any worries. I am going to make a separate video on that. So I will include that down below on how you should make your bed when you are preparing to go to surgery. All right, guys, so again, let's get into it. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's start this journey together. All right, y'all, so I am walking up now to the office. I am running a little bit behind schedule, so this is gonna be a brief little hello, but we're walking in now. My husband is behind me because he had to bring me here because you are not allowed to drive yourself after the surgery. So I'm heading in, I have this long, comfortable black t-shirt dress because you're supposed to wear comfortable clothing that is loose. So that is what I have on. Um, so that's pretty much it. And now I'm walking through this hot area. As far as things that I had to do to prep, um, before surgery, I had to send over my blood pressure. So I just went to like a blood pressure machine and like a Walmart, some Walgreens have that, but you have to do that a couple of days before your procedure and send it to them. Then this morning I had to, um, well last night and this morning I had to shower with Hibiclean soap. It's like an antibacterial something that cleans your skin to help prevent infection. Okay, y'all, so I am now in my robe ready. Um, I've done my before and after, well, not after. I've done my before pictures. I've done my pregnancy test, um, obviously, because they make sure you are not expecting if you are female. Um, and I'm just waiting on the doctor. So I'm really, really nervous, um, excited, but nervous. Um, and I can't wait. Warning, warning, warning. The next few images may be too graphic for you. Please fast forward if you do not want to see it. Thanks. Hey guys, so I am done with the surgery and on my way home. I look kind of weird because I'm laying in the back seat of my husband's car because I cannot sit on my butt. The surgery went well. I felt minimal pain. 
during the proceedings just pressure and um like vibration which actually was kind of ticklish when it got to like my rib cage area but um as far as overall the surgery was fine and went well um so now i'm in the garment and these comfortable clothing and as i said i'm laying in the back seat of my husband's car um as he's driving um but i have energy i feel like myself i don't feel disoriented or anything like that um so i'm excited to see how i feel tomorrow and um i have to go 48 hours without um taking off this garment so i will see what it looks like at that point and so i'm excited to kind of know what the progress has been but we are heading home i'm just gonna rest up for the rest of the night um i was unable to show you guys what it was like in the operation room or any of that but i believe she said she was going to send me some pictures of how much fat they got out of me and so i'm excited to see those results and just recover and take some time to rest for the rest of the day um, all right y'all so this was pretty much a short video letting you know kind of somewhat of my first day as i said there was a lot that i could not show you because we were in the operating room and all the things but overall today went well dr crawford who is in the shower location was amazing did amazing work made me feel great um and so basically i'm just going to rest for the rest of the day and then i will do another video on what it was like on day one after surgery and how i felt as things kind of sort of worn out uh or wore off um i'm pretty tired right now um so i am gonna lay down after i get some food in my system um, but otherwise, like I said, pretty short video. Just wanted to show you somewhat of what happened throughout my first day.